You are a walking, talking, breathing map. Uh-huh. Tips on reading body language. This is Dr. Paul, author of Boomer Girls, a Boomer Woman's Guide to Men and Dating, and host of Ask Dr. Paul. All right, let's go here right now to tips on reading body language. There are some basics. When someone folds the arms, the probability is that they are turning you off. They are defensive and they do not want to discuss the subject further. That's a basic one that most people know. Someone shifts their eyes, they're not being particularly honest with you. Okay? A person shifts their body to one side but looks at you with the other, they're interested. You can see that. Even more so, let's say that they're talking to someone here and they shift their body to you, that means they're intensely committed to listening to what you have to say. So body language is critically important. I observed about six months ago a man who was talking to a woman. She was on the right side, and I observed these things, doing what I do. And this woman was very, very sexually dressed. And the man was looking at her like this and talking. Another woman sat over to his left. Now he was noticed this woman, and I'm watching this dynamic. And he looked at this woman, and this woman looked at him. Now she was just very plainly dressed. And he started moving like this with his head. And the other woman brought this one into the conversation and was somewhat demeaning of her. The man, I heard, started being somewhat defensive for the woman this one was demeaning because she was interested in the man. And then what happened was profound, and this is what you want to look for. He was sitting on a chair, like a folding chair. He picked the chair up slightly and moved it over in this direction so that his focus was on this woman. And this woman knew that was a sign, and she got up and left. Now that's how you read body language. It's about body movement. This has been a very good lesson for you. And this is Dr. Paul. May your fantasies of today be your realities of tomorrow.